We are making today a traditional um, Middle Eastern food, the koshak shuka. Especially for this week, we are we are not eating uh, meat and, and chicken this week, so we're keeping uh, more of uh, vegetables or fish. So we're going to make a shakshuka today. I'm going to start off with uh, chopping up some uh, onion here. about I want to say one small uh, garlic here we're going to add that to the shakshuka Spicy. In the saucepan, I'm going to drizzle some olive oil here. And we're going to add a little garlic and onion. to uh, let it cook here for a few minutes until we get our jalapeno ready and tomatoes and then we're going to add it to that. I'm going to add uh, one jalapeno here. When I have more time, I like to uh, to uh, you know, burn it first on a flame, on an open flame, and then to add it to um, to the shakshuka. So I have about three tomatoes here, palm tomatoes. We're gonna peel them. And just like a salad here. Okay, this part here, we want to take it out. So our onion and garlic are looking good. I'm going to go ahead and add that in jalapeno first. I'm going to kind of give them to stay here a little bit before we add in the, uh, the tomato, which are going to make it all watery right away. But first we're going to Get it together going with the onion and the garlic for a few minutes and then I'm going to add the tomatoes. In five minutes, I'm going to give it another stew here. Yeah, I don't want to burn it so much. Let it see just a little bit burn here. It's okay. I'm going to add my tomatoes here. Mix it 
nicely like that. And I'm going to add some uh, tomato paste to it. And some red paprika here. I always mention in the show that uh, paprika always has to be good. The quality. here more Just a few more drops of olive oil here just because we like it then I'm gonna cook it like that just for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add a little bit of a water There's no rules for that, so you just, you don't want to have it too watery and you don't want to have it too dry because we definitely, we're going to eat uh, shakshuka with bread. So we're just going to add whatever we need to it. So we're going to let it cook for 10 minutes here. And after 10 minutes, we're going to add our water. Just a little bit of water here. You don't want to overwhelm that with water. Another steer. And then once this is boiled, we're going to add our eggs one at a time. So we're gonna the flame higher here. And I'm going to add uh, my eggs here. Of course we want to lower the flame here, we don't want it to burn. It's already boiling so nicely. And uh, voila, I'm going to wait for it to get ready. Guys, okay, so this is like about 15 minutes later. Um, that's exactly how we want it to look like. Red and the smell is, you know, with the jalapeno, you can actually feel it in our throat. How uh, spicy it is going to be. So. We want it to be like that. We have some sauce to eat with our bread and the vegetables. Good looking. Mm. Wow. Okay. My traditional shakshuka. You gotta try it at home. I'm going to have it with my leftover challah from Shabbat. Can't wait to dig in. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe for us. And until next time, bye-bye.